The Novartis-sponsored Ask to Escalate study is currently enrolling in the United States. Ask to Escalate is a phase two dose escalation trial of asiminib monotherapy for second and first line CML chronic phase. All patients will start treatment with asiminib, 80 milligram daily, and can dose escalate if not meeting response milestones. The primary endpoint is major molecular response at 12 months in second line patients. Ask to Escalate is now enrolling. Late-breaking abstract number one is the ESOPEC trial, a very interesting phase three trial in locally advanced and receptible adenocarcinoma of the esophagus. So this trial compares two regimens, one that's called FLOT and one that is called CROSS. Um, there is current disagreement about the benefits of these two. They're considered to be equal at this point. One gives all of the adjuvant treatment up front, meaning the chemo and the radiation, and one sandwiches chemotherapy around surgery. So CROSS is radiation with carbo and paclitaxel followed by surgery. And FLOT is 5-FU leucovorin oxaliplatin docetaxel sandwiched around surgery. So some doses beforehand and some doses afterwards. So this is a big trial done in Germany at 25 sites. The primary endpoint is overall survival. 438 patients were enrolled. They all had locally advanced esophageal cancer that was considered to be resectable. The median follow-up at the time of reporting was 55 months, and 218 deaths had occurred at that time point out of 438 patients. 97 of those deaths were in the FLOT arm and 121 in the CROSS arm. So with that follow-up, the median overall survival is 66 months for FLOT, the sandwiched regimen that did not have radiation in it, just chemo, and only 37 months in the cross arm, which was the chemo and radiation and then surgery. Three-year overall survival is 57% for FLOT and 50.7% for cross, and that's statistically significant. So the conclusion is that while there had been a, a disagreement or actually just no evidence to support which of these regimens was better, and both were currently being used, that it is clear in this randomized phase three study with overall survival as an endpoint that the sandwiched chemo without radiation had superior overall survival in this population of adenocarcinoma of the esophagus patients. It should have an impact on US treatment guidelines as well as international treatment guidelines. And I think it, we will have further discussion about the safety of omitting radiation therapy. Certainly there were different chemotherapy regimens used in this study. And so the question in my mind might be, would you add radiation therapy and get even more benefit from the sandwiched approach or not? So it will absolutely impact treatment guidelines. I think that CROSS has been proven to be inferior, but we still have a ways to go to define the potential role for radiation therapy in this group.